Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Mori's Plays Let's Play of Animal Crossing New Horizons 2.0 and it looks like we have some crops maybe? This is the first time I've grown them so I'm not sure kind of what their final state looks like. Maybe the tomatoes aren't ready yet because they're not red. Uh, but we definitely ha uh, yeah, we definitely have some potatoes, I think. Uh, of course, today we're going to do the usual chores. We're going to go to a mystery island and spend 1,000 Nook Miles on getting a gyro fragment. Um, we're going to go to the archipelago and do a bit of designing. Uh, just do some quick designing there because we need to unlock all the features to bring back to this island. Um, so that's the plan, really. I think Leaf is in town as well, so we might be able to buy some more crops. I really want to get some wheat. Um, and other things so we can start doing some proper cooking. Um, before we get started though, I just have to thank Chris, Sandra, and Caroline who are all supporting this Let's Play series as Marvelous Maury's. Thank you so much uh, for supporting the channel. As always, I really appreciate it. Right, let's go and let's try and pick these first. I don't think we can. No, we can't pick those. We should be able to pick the... Yeah, we can grab the potatoes. Uh, we've got so many potatoes. I don't even know what we're going to use them all for. Um, maybe we could plant some more, I don't know. But I think, first things first, we'll quickly go and blow 1,000 Nook Miles on a mystery tour. Actually, I'm really curious to see what Leaf has for us, so I'm going to check the crops first, actually. I'm too impatient. Hello, Leaf, welcome to town with your new sign. Hello, I'm sure, it sure was wonderful to see you over on Harv's Island. So... As you saw, I set up a little shop on Harv's Island, but don't worry, I'll still come here from time to time to sell my flowers and plants, just like I did before. Awesome. Okay, can we have a look? Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> did I just spring out of nowhere? Isn't this the most perfect day to shop for flowers and shrubs too? Uh, do you sell crops on the plaza or is that only when you're on the island maybe? This is the time of year when it looks its very best, so plant this little friend soon while it's in season. We've already got a bunch of holly, actually, so that should be okay. Uh, look at these guys running around, having a good time. I think Leaf might be in their way. I'd be happy to know what I can do for you today. Um, oh, you can get the weeding service on this island as well. I'm here to shop, though. We want to see if we've got any new crops. Oh, yes, I'd love to introduce you to the little seeds and stance I've got with me today. Um, pumpkins and carrots. No, we've got a million pumpkins and we've already got some carrots. I was really hoping for one of the others. That's okay, though. Ah, so it goes. If you change your mind, I'd be happy to do business with you. We also need to go to Harv's Island and get another shop as well. So we'll have a look what it looks like when one of them isn't there as well, which will be quite interesting. But I think... Oh, that reminds me. I just saw the money tree. I've got two money trees we need to place somewhere. Um, we are going for the forest vibe. So I guess I'm just going to, like... Uh, we can just put them anywhere. We're going to start laying some more paths soon. And, like, dirt tracks. And we can move trees accordingly. Oh, yes! They're baby money trees. I don't think we want one on this little island. Maybe we can just put one here. Should grow there. Okay, back on track. Um, and it wasn't raining yesterday, I don't believe, so we won't have any gyroids. But we do have one from the Mystery Island. What's it going to be? Look, I dug up a Thwopoid. Wait, have we already got one of those? Let's check it out. Uh, oh no, I don't think we do. Oh no, has it got a headache? Poor thing. Okay, let's go. I love the way Cap is just chilling here, rain or shine. Hmm, <laughs> you ready to take a tour? Round trip fair will cost you 1,000 miles. I'm ready. Don't worry, we won't listen to him sing. <laughs> it takes so long. It's fun the first couple of times, but it does take a while. Time to set sail. Watch your step as you hop on board. Okay, we made it. Oh, we've got a vine island. Finally, something different. We seem to be getting the island that Bruce is on all the time. Finally, more of these glowing weeds. What are they? Glowing moss. That's right. These look different as well. Wait, what are these? Are these new? No. My aim is absolutely terrible. Oh, yes. These are the new ones. Yes, let's take a load of these as well. 
Okay, we just got to empty this island, I think. We need all the, the things. And, and why is there coconut trees on the grass? Can we do that on our island now? We might have to test that. No, no bottle on this island. Oh. Okay, we're going to take these. We're going to take everything. Pretty much. Actually, we'll leave the vines till the end because we can... Uh... Oh, we won't be able to get to those ones. We'll need to climb the cliffs. Okay. Please be a new recipe. We have not found a new recipe yet. On the Cap'n's Tours. Finally, hanging glowing moss. Awesome. What does that look like? Sweet, I learned a DIY recipe for hanging glowing moss. Let's have a look. Ooh. Oh, I can't wait to make a room. I've emptied my main room in my house. And I think we're just going to... Oh, I've got a trash room as well. Maybe we could change the trash room. But I'm thinking about just making like a glowing vine room. Using all the new stuff. Okay, we want to grab all of this because... You can get it from the Happy Home Archipelago, but it takes a long while to grow back. Okay, these waterfalls are so loud. <laughs> okay, is there a gyroid? How do we climb up these? Oh, there we go. Okay, so can we get to... Oh, we can get to those bushes. Um, I'm thinking we only need, like... What? You climbed up it a minute ago. What are you doing? There we go. I think we only need... So we've got one white, two pink. Is that right? Maybe we only need a couple of each, I'm thinking. Grab that. There we go. We can take this. I'm sorry if my throat is a bit different and my voice is a bit different. I've got another cold. Again, it's like the third since August. <laughs> but we're okay. What have we got? Um, I'm just going to move this. Cool, so we've got two bushes, so we can climb down this one. We want to grab all the vines. It doesn't see, there's definitely more glowing moss than, uh, than vines. Not that we need them, because of course we have a ladder. Grab that. Okay. Is that all of the... Nope. There we go. We've got one more or two more vines. This one. Oh, no. And then this one. And that's it. Oh, did we? we did, oh, we did get the gyroids. I'm having a complete memory blank. We don't need any coconuts, but I do think we will try and move a coconut tree on our island when we get back. So we've got a bunch of vines. Only nine vines. What a weird number. 16 glowing moss and two of each of the new bush. No crops in this town, though. Uh, in this island, even. Definitely no more moss hide. Uh, my goodness, there's too many new things. I keep getting the names wrong. No other vines hiding anywhere, should I say. Okay, I think that's all of it. Awesome. We might as well head back now, ditch all of this stuff, and go and check out Harv's Island, buy another shop, get that all out of the way. Um, I'm ready to go home. And then we could hopefully... Uh, it's a shame we can't go to Harv's Island from here, isn't it? That would be cool. Yep, and then we can spend some time on the archipelago. But first... We need to plant our gyroid fragment. Oops, sorry! My player is the absolute worst at digging holes, honestly. Okay, cool fact is you don't need to water them when it rains. We found that out last time. But it looks pretty sunny today, so we're going to water it anyway. Okay, we'll probably get rid of our stuff. This is technically Tangy Shed, but we use it all the time. We want to put things away. Might as well get rid of all these. Oh, I wish we could store bushes. Because now I need to... Put them somewhere. Uh, maybe we could just... Hmm. 
Maybe we could just put them in front of Tangy's house. No, why won't you drop? I swear my coordination is getting worse. There we go. We'll just pop it in a square like that. And we'll deal with those later. Okay, let's head to... So we've done the crops. Got our gyroid. Let's head to... Oh, have we got a camper? Did I just see? No. Let's head to the archipelago and quickly design a house. See where we're up to with that. Um, we unlocked the school, or Lottie mentioned it, but we haven't been able to design it yet, so... Hey, 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 welcome to your one and only gateway to the skies, the Morishima Airport. How can I help you out? We're going to Harv's Island first. Roger, by the way, it looks like you've got a Nook Master. No, we don't want to do that just yet. Although we probably should. We need to kick a villager out, I think. Uh, go to Harv's Island, please. Harv's Island. Roger that, good buddy. I can set you up right now. Are you ready? Yes, we're totally ready. Let's get you airborne. Thank you. But the question is, which shop should we open now? Touchdown! Like playing the kazoo in a pack of gum! I, don't, I still don't understand what Wilbur's is going on about. I really don't. I hope he's not drunk. Like, oh, wait. How much money have we got? Oh, we need to withdraw some money. Wow. It's a good job we've been saving Nook Miles and our bells. Uh, withdraw. We might as well just take a thousand. 100,000. There we go. That will do. So Katrina is here, of course, as well. We unlocked Katrina. So we could get our fortune read. Um, it's getting more and more things to do here. Oh, this is what it looks like when someone isn't here. They pack up and go in their, their caravan. They leave it all behind. We can't get in, though, unfortunately. That's a shame. Okay, who should we bring next? I think we're down to kicks, red... Tour timer or Sahara? I think red is. I'm pretty sure this is red. I think that's the. That's kind of the one we, we want to do, I think. We need lots. Of, we've got no art in our museum, so this is probably the best. Yeah, our goal is 100,000 bells. Currently, we have 1,900 bells in donations, which is just lovely, isn't it? We still need 98,000. Ouch. Sure, I'll help. Uh, as much as possible. There we go. May I have 98,100 bells as donation, friend? Yeah, I love the way I'm a friend when I'm handing over so much money. We reached our goal! Alright, we reached our donation goal. Harvey should come by in a second, I think. Oh, no, maybe not. Okay, let's get our fortune read. Kiha mo ata, kiha mo atata. <laughs> hmm, something about you. I can see it. Yes, I can see it. Only I, Katrina, can see it. Your truth. I will reveal it to you for 1,000 bells. Uh, that's pretty cheap. We're going to go with that. Yes, please. I can tell you about your luck today. Or perhaps you wish to know about your friendship with another. What shall it be then? Oh, what? I didn't know there was going to be options. Uh... Let's just go with luck for now. I guess start at the top. Um, I'll be interested to learn more about the luck mechanic as well. Um, very well. I will consult my crystal about today's luck for you. Now, please, close your eyes. Okay. Oh, it's getting dark. Kiha mo ata, kiha mo nuratata. I'm not even going to pronounce that. Whoa! That was kind of sweet but scary at the same time. She is focused. Oh, look at the crystal ball! Oh, oh, I see something. Yes. In the dead of night, the president of Nook Inc. counts them one by one. Not sheep, but bells. From this vision, I deduce that your luck with money will improve. Ooh. How cryptic. How mystical. What does it mean? Well, something good might happen today or it might not. Now then, may my crystal guide you. Oh, thank you, Katrina. 
Um, don't need anything customized at the moment. I, uh, we don't want to unlock any more hair yet. And we've done our donation for red. What does Harvey have to say? Hey, Maury, I heard you pushed us over the top with a generous donation today. That's just so groovy of you. I'm not a big paperwork guy, but I did go ahead and file the papers for the new shop. It'll be open tomorrow. Hope to see you there. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Okay, I guess we're done on Harv's Island. Now to try and go and investigate and see what luck has changed with our money. Maybe maybe we could get a few money... Uh, Drop a few money trees, go and do the money rock, and see if we get any more bells. Train wreck coffee cake is reporting Tango softball is go. Do you require assistance? Over. Uh, yeah, well, can we go home, please? <laughs> you want to bust buns and burners and bounce back to Peach Town? Yup. Roger. Let's pack snacks and make tracks. Okay. We're home in Morishima, and apparently we have, well, possibly have good luck or increased luck with money. I'm not sure what the categories are. Maybe we should also check our turnip prices. I think the first thing we should do, though, is do the money rock. This used to be a classic in old games. When you had good luck with finance, the money rock was always, uh, always used to give you more money. Not this one. No. Watch it be this one where the cliff... Oh, it is this one. Go, go, go. It doesn't look like it's going to give us any more money. And we haven't got enough space. Oh, 8,000 bells now. This is the same. Oh, is it the same? I don't know. I can't remember. I don't think so. If it isn't, it's not very significant. Get on the toilet. Okay, let's check our turnip prices. Maybe we've got like super awesome turnips. So Tom Nook counts his bells at night, one by one. I'm not sure how that relates to us having good luck, but. Ooh, ceiling item. Seems you're interested in fluorescent lights. Those are limited supply, so act fast if you're serious. But let's see, that's 1,400 bells. What do you think? Uh, I'll buy it. Excellent purchase. Purchase. Yes, thank you for your 1,400 1, bells. My throat is so sore. Yes, yes, of course, of course. What do you need? Uh, turn up prices? Oh, 155. I mean, it's not terrible, but... It's not exactly like 300 or something. I was expecting a real high price there. Thank you, thank you. Um, okay, what else could be improved with the money? I'm guessing some money trees. And we do have a couple planted. Here's one. It's hard to know because we planted a random 58,000 bells, so is that because of luck or was it always going to be that? Okay, no luck with this one. We also need to pick up our mushrooms, I think. Oh, here we go. Oh, maybe we should plant a money tree. Look, I dug up 5,000 bells. Ooh. Okay, let's plant 99. There's got to be a guaranteed triple, surely. There we go. Uh, let's go and check the other money trees. There's one over here somewhere. So, so far with the increased luck, you just get 5,000 extra bells. <laughs> No, we buried a 10,000 here as well, I believe. Don't think there are any others. Okay. I can't think what else there would be for luck. Maybe... 
Maybe villagers buy things off you for more money. Um, oh yes, our fluorescent light. We could go and put that in the house. Because we haven't got a... Uh, what do you call it? A ceiling item yet. That's our first one, which is really cool. Um, and then we'll head off to the archipelago, I think. Try and do a quick design of a house. See where we're up to there. We have to design so many houses to unlock them all. To unlock all the features. Okay, so this is the room at the moment. I pretty much stripped all of it. Waiting for the new features. And we should be able to just drop this up here, though. There we go. Doesn't really fit the room aesthetic, but at least we have a ceiling item now. Awesome. Okay, let's go to the archipelago. Um, I think we also need to buy the ladder that you can craft. Permanent ladder. That way we can have a quick trip down to the... Uh, down to the main tier. Sorry everyone, don't mind me. Okay, let's go. Okay, back again. We should have gone from Harv's Island. That would have been quicker, wouldn't it? That would have made sense. Hey, 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 welcome to your one and only gateway to the skies. We are going to work. Ah, oh, so you're going to work, roger that. I can set you up right now. But are you ready? All packed and stuff? Yeah. Alright, let's get you airborne. Hey, Nico! Back again. Okay, who have we got here today? The villagers obviously change every day, which is good. Oh, Cherry! You were the first one on my island, I think. Oh, a bottle! Please be new! Classic picture? No. That's not good. Okay, so I'm pretty sure the school will still be locked, but we'll try it anyway. Because I'd really love to design the school. No. I, f I find it strange that they uh, mention it, but then don't let you actually customise it. Ooh, oh, look at the item. That's the sweetest cabinet. I need it. What's this? A till, a modern till. What's up? Are you looking for some work? Yes. Okay, then please change into your uniform. I've got something a little different for you this time. Ooh. Here we go. Remember when we looked at the empty facility together? Well... We got the necessary permits to turn it into a school. That's great news. Is it? <laughs> I was very impressed with the permit process, I, and it was much quicker than I expected. This is an important moment in our hi uh, history of paradise planning, our first facility. That's why I need your help putting it together. Let's head over there now, shall we? Awesome. And here we are. Not that we had far to go. Sure, it's the next one along. Now that I think uh, we should start by freshening up the exterior, it could really use some personality. I'd like you to do your best for now. Oh, of course. I'll try my best. If you don't like something, you can always change it later. Awesome. Okay, what colour scheme should we go for? We want to go something quite tropical, like... I feel like the blue kind of gives some island vibes. Um, ooh. Oh, this is really hard. That's cool, but it doesn't really suit the island. Um, I quite like the pink, but it doesn't really go with the blue. Maybe the beige? Yeah. Oh, wait. No, I didn't do the... No, no, no. I forgot to go along to the doors. Definitely want to change the door. 
Um, beige door. Actually, I'm not liking the beige. Let's go for the white. There we go. Blue door. That's cool. Ooh, a different color bell. A silver bell. A black bell. A purple bell. I swear, it's, it's got to be... It's got to be bronze, hasn't it? That's like the most... The closest to a real-life bell. Is it okay for the exterior? Yep. This is cool. I'm so excited to finally do a facility. Great, it looks wonderful. With that taken care of, let's head inside. Oh, it's not very big. I thought it'd be bigger than that. Um, so it's just like a classroom more than a school. Um... Maybe we can come back when we unlock the walls and divide them up a bit. It needs a lot of work in here too. I'm so glad you're helping out with this. So, first things first, a school needs chairs and desks, right? When you're ready, press the menu and take a look at the order tab to see everything we need. Although, a room of this size will start feeling pretty cramped if we bring it to my... Oh, uh, oh, are we unlocking the f room sizes maybe? I know, just the thing, a technique to adjust the size of the room is an old trick of the trade. So if a room feels too large or too small for your vision, press down to switch to the decorating mode. From there, press left to begin adjusting the size of the room. Ooh. Got all that? It's easier done than said. Uh, let me know when it's ready for me to take a look. Okay. Designing a school. So, decoration mode. Oh, that's that's an item already. I thought that was a parcel that we needed to open. Um, okay, so, left. Here we go. Room settings. From here, you can change the size of your room, add or remove windows, and make changes to the entrance. Make changes to the entrance? How big are we going to go? We need to go quite big, don't we? Um... I feel like this suits the exterior a bit more. Uh, I don't think we'll go massive because maybe we can come back when we've got the walls and stuff and we can make extra room. So for now, I think we're going to keep it like that. That fits with the building, I think. Yeah. What's the entrance? Oh, windows. Don't use. Oh, yeah, we need windows. Uh, entrance. This is so cool. Red carpet. I don't think we need a stone entrance. I feel like the wood's just fine, actually. Okay, there we go. I couldn't get out of the menu for a second there. Uh, okay, let's have a look at what items we got. Furnishing facilities. While working on facilities, note the minimum amount of each furniture type you'll need to play. Ooh, so we need multiple chairs. You can see what types you need under order, along with how many pieces are required. You can also select pieces by type. Okay, um, so we need some chairs. What color are we going to go with? I'm obsessed with like really bright colors, but I feel like that wouldn't be what a school would be like. Um, oh, we've got lots of posters and activities. Okay, let's start with the walls, I guess. That looks kind of cool. That looks like it would have things hung from it. Um, oh, can we change... Can we change one end of the wall? Oh no, wait. How do we do that again? I can't remember. Maybe we can't do it in here. Oh, there we go. X. Oh, lockers. Yes. Definitely need some lockers. Um, or should we have the lockers on the back wall? Oh, the lockers are really cool. Oh, you can only have one accent wall. Okay. Was that a different color? Where did the lockers go? Oh, there's different. I hit a different one. Okay. Um, okay, we're going to make this. That looks better, doesn't it? Okay, that makes sense. Um, that's cool. The first time we've used that. Right, so what should we go for? Um, rubber tile. I feel like we need, like, a, definitely a wooden floor. What's this? Like a gymnasium. I am a sucker 
for the modern wood flooring, but it doesn't really go, does it? Uh, oh, here's a lighter version, yeah. Oh, that's nice. We'll go with that one. Okay, have we got a bunch of school clothes as well? Ooh, every school has a fish tank. Um, okay, so let's go back to the top. So we need to start getting some chairs out. Um, what should we go for? They all look so uncomfortable. I guess the teacher needs like a, a big boss chair. Uh, I guess we're going to go for... I would love to go for the colourful ones. I can't. I'm going to have to go for all the colourful ones, I think. Uh, maybe we can make a play corner. The teacher... This is the teacher desk. This is what we need. School lockers. Cabinets. Trophy cases. Oh, yes. We definitely need one of these. Okay. Um... So, trophy cabinet would have to go in the corner somewhere, wouldn't it? What happened to the windows? Um, right, we need to set up the desks first. So, we need to choose what school desks we're going to use, I think. Um, here we go. I think we're going to have to go for this one. Can we change to some cool colours? There we go. Blue and grey. Okay, so. We'll put the lockers over there. This podium thing, I guess, can go over here. As if someone's doing a presentation. Might as well change it. Uh, the teacher's desk is normally at the front, isn't it? Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Um, okay, so we'll put the teacher's desk at the front. I can't wait till we've got the walls. I would have divided this up, I think. Um, I guess, I don't know, do the, do schools these days, do the teachers have computers on their desk? Have we got a computer? Um, I thought I saw one. I don't think there is one. Um, okay, so we need a clock. We never have any cool clocks in schools, do we? They're literally the most boring clocks ever. Um, so I guess they're taking like an exam in here or something. Okay, let's put this, let's do like a play corner over here. I feel like this is more of an exam school. Like where you would take exams. Um, oops. There we go. We'll set some desks up. This is going to be a tiny school. Maybe we should have gone for bigger. There we go. Getting the desk sorted. Um, we're not going to have much room for a play area, are we? This is not good. Let's just move, see if we can move these a bit further down. There we go. That's more like it. Oh, that's annoying. Um, 
okay. No, I don't suppose they'd sit next to each other, but that's okay. We need it for the presentation. Right, we need a rug as we come in the room. Keep pressing the plus. Um, what rug should we go for? There's so many. Um, I really want to stick to the colourful ones, but they don't really always suit it. Um... Doesn't really go with it. <laughs> Maybe we'll just have a, a plain black one. There we go. And that kind of separates the room a little, I think. And um, we definitely need a play area over here, so. Um... Oh no. It's a whole car, but I thought it was a rug. Okay, we'll go for the exercise mats instead. Um, let's put them this way and get them a bit more in the corner. There we go. Can we separate? We need a wall! What can we use to separate it? Some simple panels. Oh, actually, do you know what? We should probably have some more, like, bookcases. That makes more sense. Oh, it's looking good, actually. That way we've got a bit of a room. We'll, we could replace those with a wall at some point, I guess. Um, or maybe we could put a toilet in here. There we go. Actually, do you know what? We want some privacy. There we go. That's a bit better. <laughs> right, we need to start putting some things on the wall. Maybe we could have another chair, actually, as well. Can we get a different colour? Hopefully a blue one. There we go. Ooh, what pattern can we have? Ah, a train. There we go. Right, so let's put some things on the wall. Sorry I'm not talking much too, uh, too much. It's really hard to try and think ahead of what we're going to do. Ooh, there's a whole chalkboard that we need to put on somewhere. Hmm, might have to come back to that. Okay, let's get some posters up. Okay, this needs to go up, this needs to go up, this needs, this needs, this needs. Um, oh, yes, we definitely need a cat sign. Exit. Flesh and light in. I feel like there would be loads of these. There we go. That's quite good. Um, okay, this can be in the play area where you're still ha still learning even though you're playing. This exit sign can go above the door. Okay, we're getting into it now. We're figuring it out. Clock can stay there. The keys can go by the teacher's desk. What's this? Uh, another poster. This is probably like a notice board. I feel like that might be above there. That's good. Uh, this could be behind there to show that they've had some special people doing presentations. Uh, need some light switches and a fan. Probably need that in the play area as well. Uh, where did the light switch go? Oh, there it is. Just 
just going to move that long, a long one. Actually, we'll move it up one as well. No, it can't go central. Okay, that's not too bad. Can we move this a long one? No. Maybe if we move the clock higher. There we go, that's better. That makes more sense. Okay, so what are we going to have in the playing area? Um, oh, definitely need a fire extinguisher. Maybe they're taking like a chemistry class. Okay, let's sort these out. So we want some books. Over here. Someone at the back of the... Oops. Someone at the back of the class isn't paying attention. Oh, this is too long. Um, no, a teacher can be doing some experiments. This is super fun. I'm loving this. Uh, oh, a teddy bear in the play area. I guess the class needs a hamster as well. And a football. Um, oh, a football on top of the hamster cage. Um, actually, do you know what? I want to swap these around. There we go. Can we still put something on top of the hamster cage when it's on that? No. Okay, we're going to change this. Oh, we can't change the football. Okay, that'll do. We can, we can, we can live with the football. Um, there's so many things. Every class needs like a giant TV as well. Is there anywhere we can put a blackboard? Hmm. Oh, have we met the requirements? Yes, we have. Um. I feel like we need some music in here. Here we go. We'll put the teddy bear in the class as well. There we go. Maybe we could change one of these teddy bears. Oh, that's cute. Floral. Oh, t-shirt. There we go. That's really cute. This is so cute. Uh, can we change this? Ah, oh, here we go. This is more like it. Blue. Uh, there we go. Oh, I thought we, uh, oh, it's got the posters on the side. Okay, we're looking good. What else can we squeeze in here? Um, eventually, when we can unlock the walls, I'm hoping to come back, make it bigger, and add, like, a separate classroom. I guess we need to do some paints. Um, anything else for the play area? I guess we could look at our own items. Um... Let's see. Anything fun in here that we could use? It doesn't seem to be all of our... Oh, this is just all the items from the archipelago. There's not actually any... Uh... Oh, there's a computer. There's not actually any items from my island yet um, okay we're going to get rid of we're going to put the cl uh, cassette player instead of this um, okay maybe the class has a piggy bank um, what is that Oh, golden dung beetle. Okay, I think we want a dice just because it's really cool. Okay. 
the crisps. One of my favorite items. The, the guys at the back are, are not listening. Uh, they can do some arts and crafts. Uh, we're going to get rid of... Oh no, what did I just get rid of? Oh, I got rid of the map by accident. There we go. Okay, I wanted to get rid of this in favor of uh, the class boom box. Okay, how do we get the little piggy? There we go. Oh, we can't change it. It's only gold. I was hoping for like a pink pig. Um, I guess actually we should also move the class fish. There, and we could put one last item on the podium. What could it be? Oh, actually, I think we should probably... Every class has a random vacuum cleaner as well. We need something for the podium. What could we put? Um... Where was the computer? There we go. Okay, so we're going to put the computer on the podium. We're going to put the random vacuum cleaner. Oh no, we can't fit it in. It's a shame we can't hang the fire extinguisher on the wall. Can we put it up here? Oh, there we go. I don't know if it's a good idea having a fire extinguisher up so high. Maybe we could just leave it there. Uh, actually, we could put it behind the podium. Uh, actually, no. Let's leave it. What we'll do is we'll just move it here. Okay, and the dice. Can we customize the dice? We can. Oh, cool. Just different colors. A wooden dice. Nice. Uh, and I feel like that goes in the play area as well. Maybe. Maybe there. There we go. Do you know what? I'm pretty proud of that. That's not bad. Oh, we need to take a photo at some point. We'll do it in the when it does the thing at the end. How are things? I'm finished. Great. Now the next thing to think will be who can we invite to work here? We can always change the staff later, but who would you hire right now? Ooh. Choosing facility staff. You can choose which clients will work in a facility. You can change the lineup at any time by pressing left. Um... Oh, well, I guess it's going to be Pudge for now. Change member? Oh, who? Oh, I feel like Marlo would be a great teacher. Yeah. Okay, I'll call our new teacher. Wait, before we do this, we need to give our new school a name. Oh, really? If you have any ideas or want to hear them, or if you don't right now, that's okay. We can name it later. Uh, let's give it a name. What kind of name should we give it? Like the... Uh, what kind of school is it? Um, Marlo. Let's see the... Hmm. This is always the toughest bit. Let's just call it... Uh, <laughs> let's just call it Paradise School, I guess. Para Dice. I'm assuming they'll add the school. I like it. You definitely want to name it Paradise. Yeah. Great. We've got ourselves a name. Perfect. I think the exterior looks like a Paradise school and, and we've done a good job. Marlo is 100% a teacher. A 
Everyone's hard at work. This is perfect. I'm so pleased with it. Okay, that was perfect, I think. Well, I called everyone once I got our teacher in here. It seemed like we needed some students too. And now everyone is learning thanks to you. Oh, we should take a photo for our design portfolio. And after that, another one outside just to celebrate the occasion. Yes, this is perfect. I'm loving it. Okay, let's go outside. Wait a second. You didn't tell me what you want to do yet. Wait, what do we do? What's up? Uh... Let's take that photo. Great, let's go outside. I just noticed Lottie's little bracelet. It's so adorable. And now, we're gathered here to take a special celebratory photo of paradise. Thank you very much. The island is a little more beautiful today thanks to Mori and paradise. I can't wait to see what the future holds for its students and teachers. All right, we need to hear from the person in charge of decorating paradise. Maury, a few words. Uh, we did it, team. Thank you. And last but not least, let's take a celebratory photo. Okay. Um, we can't do really angle the... Uh, I think that's as good as we're going to get. I think it came out lovely, but what do you think of it, Maury? Yeah, it's perfect. I agree, it's perfect too. That'll do it. Safe travels, everyone. Oh, why can we get a picture of them jumping up? Whew, I knew, I think we did a great job. I won't take a peek inside. What a good looking school. It's so nice. I bet I do well. Even at my worst subjects, me too. Wardle was impressed with how polished everything... Oh, we didn't polish anything! Was he being sarcastic there? I agree, our school is top-notch thanks to Maury's work. Who said you can't learn anything in paradise? I heard that Lottie's taught you her little trick about resizing rooms. So that means... Whoa! What does it mean? What is it, Nico? I've just come up with a brilliant idea. He. <laughs> But I'm going to keep it to myself for now. What? That's not fair. Promise you'll tell us soon, all right? Anyway, moving on. That was a very large job and you'll be paid appropriately, Mori. Here's 25,000 pokey for all your hard work. I have grand plans, so I'm sure I'll need your help with another facility in the future. If we keep growing the client base, I just know we'll get the permits we need. Anything is possible. Oh, by the way, let me know if you ever want to freshen up the school with a remodel. And, because it needs saying one more time, thank you for your help. Yay, before we go, we've just got to buy that cabinet. It's super cute. I'm finished. Thank you, Lottie. It says it costs 4,400 pokey for a ranch cupboard, but that's so cute. We definitely need that. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I think that pretty much wraps it up. We've done quite a successful day. We spent longer than I thought designing the school. I'm sorry once again for my voice. It's so croaky. It probably sounds horrible, so I'm sorry. But we're going to be okay. Um, yep, yeah, and I hope you're still enjoying it. And I hope you're still enjoying the update yourself. Let me know how many facilities you've managed to design so far. Um, and thanks for watching. Thanks to the channel members, of course. And I'll see you next time. Bye.